Hello, beautiful family. So, when that last video stopped, this man came up to me, religious man, and he, he, he all he came up to do was, um, he was sent by the devil. Um, he, he came up to me and said, have you read all 66 books like this? And um, I just didn't answer him. Um, he said, are you going to ask my question? Did you, have you read all 56 books? I said, it's 66 books, sir. He said, that's what I meant. Uh, otherwise, if, if you don't, if you haven't read all 50, 66 books, then you're, you're speaking out of your ass like this, you know? This is what he said to me. <laughs> to try to discourage me but I am not dis discouraged I will not be greatly moved I will not be greatly moved <laughs> here we go God bless you Leeds I've come here to warn you that time is running out the Lord Jesus Christ is coming we are living in the final moments of the age of dispensation of God's grace Jesus Christ is coming for his church in what's commonly referred to as the rapture when the Lord Jesus descends from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord wherefore comfort one another with these words this is our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming. Are you ready? If you're not born again, you'll be left behind. You are born again the moment you believe the gospel. Your salvation isn't a process. It's just a one-time event which happens the moment you truly believe the gospel. The gospel. For all have sinned and the wages of sin is death. Believe the gospel that Jesus paid the penalty on the cross for all our sin, our lifetime of sin. And he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. And when you believe that in your heart, you'll be saved and justified before the God of the whole earth. You'll have a one-way ticket to heaven. God will seal you with Holy Spirit of promise. And God doesn't go back on his promises. Save yourselves. I'm telling you, you think that this, things are going back to normal. They're not. Things are going to get a whole lot worse. I've come here to tell you, to warn you, to tell you that Jesus Christ is coming and this world is going to be turned upside down afterwards. First of all, the Lord Jesus will take all believers up into heaven, out of harm's way, along with all little children and babies which are innocent. He will take them up into heaven, out of harm's way, and then the great tribulation will begin. A war, the likes of which this world has not seen before, will break forth. The Bible says two billion people are going to lose their lives in the first part of the great tribulation apocalypse period. And you don't have to be here for that. If you will, but believe the gospel now, where things are relatively easy. Don't wait until you witness all these believers vanish in the rapture. Get on board the ark of salvation now. Believe on Jesus now and what he did for us on the cross. Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this wicked and adulterous generation, then of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. The Bible says, if we deny him, he will deny us. Why would you deny the only one who can save you? The only name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved is Jesus Christ. Please help yourself. Take the Bible as well if you want. Do you want the Bible? Take the Bible. I've got more. Okay. 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 Yeah, all right. God bless you. God bless you, Leeds. This really is the last call into the kingdom of God before the rapture. It really is. And then the great tribulation is going to begin. I've been sent here to tell you, Jesus Christ is coming for all who have belonged to him. All who have believed, 
all who have been born again, that means all who have been baptized in Holy Spirit and all little children, you are baptized in Holy Spirit the moment you truly believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Except you repent, Jesus said you will perish. Jesus said, except you repent, you will perish. He loves you. God bless you all. I've not come here with a condemning message. I've come here to tell you that time is short and that all of you can be saved. Because it's not about religion. Get that out of your heads, please. It's not about religion. It's about the Son of God. It's about God putting on the flesh of a normal human being so that he could go to the cross to die for us, to shed his blood for us. He was buried. He rose again from the dead and was seen by hundreds and hundreds of people. And then he ascended up and is now at the right hand of the Almighty God. And he's about to descend any second with the shout, with the voice of the Archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And he's going to gather up into heaven all who have ever believed on him in the rapture. The rapture is about to take place. If you're not in Christ, you'll be left behind to face the apocalypse. I've told you. Get on board the ark of salvation. Believe on Jesus today. If you're ashamed of Jesus, he'll be ashamed of you. If you deny him, he'll deny you. That means you won't make it into heaven. Don't think that this life is all there is. There's a heavens. There's heavens above us. God is a big God. There's a heaven and there's a hell. And your decision to accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, that will determine where you spend eternity. Not just a lifetime, but forever and ever and ever. Heaven or hell. And the choice is yours. Jesus is offering you his free gift of everlasting life. And all you have to do is receive it by faith. Take it off him. Do it now. Don't hesitate. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for all your sin. He did that for you. He shed his blood on that cross for you. For your sin. Believe it. That he did it for you. He was buried. He rose again from the dead. Believe it. And know, know it's true. That he did that for you. Call upon him and you'll be saved. That's it. That's all that's required for salvation. Salvation is not something you earn by being good. It's a one-time event. For by grace are we saved. Through faith. And that not of ourselves. It's the free gift of God. Not by our own good works. Lest any man should boast. Receive the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Take one if you want one. It's okay. Please take one. How much are there? Free. For God. Free. Take one for your friend if you want as well. Take a few. All right. See you a bit. God bless you. God bless. God is love. I pray that it blesses all, you all and it touches you all right now with his love. In the name of Jesus Christ, may he bless this entire street and this entire city. May this entire city wake up. Wake up to righteousness. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you will be saved. It's a matter of heaven and hell. It's a matter of life and death. Your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus Christ. It's going to determine where you spend eternity. Heaven or hell. Heaven. There's not much spoken in the Bible about heaven except it's paradise. I believe it's a beautiful place. A beautiful place where you will have a brand new body, an eternal body. But hell is outer darkness. 
where you'll be weeping and wailing and grinding your teeth, where the worm never dies and the fire never goes out, tormented forever and ever and ever, if you reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Receive it, receive that free gift by faith, by believing, yes, Jesus did die on that cross for you. He did it for you. You three guys, Jesus died on that cross for you. He shed his blood for you on the cross. They buried him in a tomb and God raised him to life on the third day. God bless you. God bless you. I take no offense. Jesus loves you, okay? They'll save him, they said. Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also when the Son of Man is revealed. In the days of Noah, they were eating and drinking and marrying wives and giving in marriage. They just carried on with life as Noah built the ark for the seven others that were with him. He built that ark and they mocked and they scoffed him because he told them that God was going to destroy the whole earth with a flood. And they just thought it was all a big joke, that life was just a big joke. That's what they thought. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also when the Son of Man comes. In the days of Noah, they were just partying, getting on with life. Everything was normal. But they were faithless. They were absolutely faithless, which is what this world has also become. Faithless. Faithless. Jesus said, faithless and perverse generation. How shall you escape the damnation of God? The only way, the only way, the, the Bible says, there are many ways, many paths in this life that seem right to men, but the ends thereof are of destruction. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, the god of his age. He goes to steal, kill and destroy. And he's doing a good job, unfortunately. Satan wants to distract you away from the Lord Jesus. So that you don't believe on him. So that you don't get saved. And you end up in hell. That's what Satan's job is. And people are just allowing him. Because they won't believe too proud to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know. Something is stopping people from believing on the Lord Jesus. I don't know what it is. But God will accept anybody who comes to him. Have you ever got down on your knees and prayed? Have you ever got down on your knees and, and asked God, if you're real, oh God, please show yourself to me. Have you ever done that? Because if you do it in truth, you'll get an answer. Oh, this is so dry. But I'm going to have to stop this one, guys. But um, I, I quite like this preaching. I, if, if there's people that behind me in the cafe, it's people that they're listening. I can, I can not. I don't just have to re repeat the gospel, but I can go on about other other things like I'm preaching to them and today this is what I've done is I've tried to go up to people and look at them in the eyes and say Jesus died for you it's like the three lads that just walked past that said hail Satan you know it's because of what they've learned from the media portraying hell and Satan as something good no no Satan has come to steal, kill and destroy. In hell. I can't imagine. I've ima I have imagined, actually. I mean, 
Jesus talked about the gates of hell. Um, he, he said the gates of hell will not prevail against the church ever. But he talked about the gates. So there must be some gates that you enter through. Fool, can't imagine that it's outer darkness and there's things creeping around there and there's flames and sulfur burning everywhere and people screaming and crying and oh, can't imagine. Somebody just texted me. All right, guys, I love you. I'll speak soon. I'm sorry for going on about hell too much. We're going to heaven. We're at paradise. It's so beautiful it's going to be. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Can't wait. <laughs> you know, we'll be able to put, just um, relax for a moment, you know, without, um, you know, being attacked all the time by Satan and stuff, which is a continuous thing nowadays. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> It is for me anyway. Um, I think it is for everybody. I, I hear from other people that they're having bad dreams and stuff like that. And, uh, there's, some, there's some real spiritual uh, activity at the moment. Um, there really is. The spiritual realm is just, it's just ooh, it's, it's, it's crazy. You see, I can't believe how these people, most people, they're in a world of their own. They don't know what's what. They don't. Um, most people have never heard of Jesus Christ. The, the, the new generation. They might have heard of him, but the, you know they're not being taught like I was in school. Um, I was taught uh, in school when I was a little kid, and I don't remember what it, what it was about. But I remember that it gave me a good feeling. Um, I remember receiving, you see those little Bibles I've got behind me, those little Bibles, I remember receiving my first Gideon's Bible, I remember it, and I wrote my name in it, and um, I was so happy, it felt so good in my hands, that Bible. Anyway guys, the Bible is nice, beautiful, everything, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I, so what I do is, some, I sometimes, I'll, I'll read, I'll read, I'll read um, uh, big parts of it, you know, big, lo loads of chapters and Genesis or something. And then other times, when I haven't got so much time, I will just, um, I'll, I'll just read a psalm, um, or something, something a bit shorter, you know. Because most of the time I don't have much time. Um, or I put the speaking Bible, audio Bible on in the shower. I'm having a shower, I put, I put the phone above the toilet so, so it's playing, so I'm listening to the Word of God so it's good, it's good that we got that um, it really is, I mean we've got everything in this country, most of us, that we need, you know Jesus, she, I'll just remind you, that Jesus Christ said oh, hold on a minute, Jesus Christ said if you have food and clothing enough for today then rejoice and be glad that's what Jesus said do you know what I was feeling of stopping but I'm going to continue I'm going to do one more video then I'm going to stop I love you all Jesus said if you've got food and clothing enough for this day not a house not a car just food and clothing then rejoice and be glad <laughs> that's rather hard isn't it when you've got nowhere to live rejoice and be glad uh, there's probably a lot of homeless people in Jesus' day. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get off and waffling on. Love you all. Bye.